I like that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a simple everyday look that I do. I have been doing my makeup in the mornings, a lot of the mornings, just to, um, even if I'm not going anywhere, I just like to feel good. And like I said in my last video, doing my makeup is so therapeutic for me. Plus with my new job, I have to be on camera for meetings and things like that. I don't put on <laughs> these lashes. I just got some new lashes from um, their Beauty Supply lashes from the Cherry Blossom brand. I did not know the Beauty Supply had lashes this cheap and I just grabbed a bunch and left well, I grabbed a handful of them and paid for them, but I grabbed a bunch because for a dollar they were really cute lashes. And I feel like every lash doesn't have to cost like $25 to be cute. I do have $25 lashes, but just for every day that I'm just putting on lashes and ripping them off, a dollar is perfectly fine for me. We are baby mamas on a budget. So, um, I don't put on the lashes for the work meetings but for the simple fact that I have errands to do today I am going to be putting on a little bit of more dramatic lashes so you can see I'm in a different location I'm sitting on the couch in my bedroom right now I don't really love the lighting in this room I'm probably am going to go back to the previous location from a previous video this is my favorite seat in the whole house if you haven't seen my Instagram but for the simple fact that it is so hard to sit up in a chair for long periods of time, it does take me like an hour to do my makeup if I'm really focused on it. So I just needed somewhere comfortable. It's early in the morning. I'm about to get ready to go to the mall. First thing I'm gonna do is my brows and I'm using the brown from the James Charles palette. I'm so excited to go to the mall today. I do wanna see what, um, what brow options well I'm excited to go to the mall to see with um, new brow products I haven't been to the mall since like honestly maybe 2019 like before this even happened I probably didn't go to the mall till like summer last year I'm gonna clean that up because we look a little crazy. <laughs> clean that up with my El Maquillage Fucking Flawless Concealer in 13 per usual. This is why I'm I think I might start cutting out me doing my brows in videos because it's it's the same thing at this point. Like I have a million videos up, but <laughs> it's the same thing, and I don't want you guys to get bored. And I'm just gonna bring that down to cover the darkness in my eyes. So for every day I do, again, I know y'all probably know it, use my James Charles palette and I'm going to be using the mini Nubian by Juvia's place is it Juvia's? Juvia's. I'm gonna go in with this first shade just in my crease. And then I'm gonna go in with this brown shade here. And just use that to deepen up the crease in the outer view just a little bit. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and some of my El Maquillage Concealer and just cut out a little bit of my eye. I'm not doing a cut crease, but I'm just 
put in a little concealer there so that the color we put on our lid pops against the dark brown. This eye always comes out perfect circle while this eye is always just like does its own thing. So I'm going to be using my favorite lid shade which is this brown from James Charles palette. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a nudie shade. I've only had this palette for like a month and this shade I've all, already almost hit pan on and this is the mini um, palette so that's also an indicator. Okay, we're using a, a Morphe brush. Much better. So I think I said this in another video. I like to carve out the space for the shadow. And then I go in and pat the shadow in. So then I'm going to go back in with the Juvia's Place Brown and just clean up. Okay, so the eye is done until we do our everything else, which I always do last. So for foundation, I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place Mozambique Foundation. I think I got this shade in like one shade too light but i make it work i really like this foundation i like stick foundations for everyday foundation wear my favorite foundation outside of mac was the um anastasia beverly hills stick foundation but i lost it i sprayed a little bit of coconut essence on my beauty sponge and i'm just gonna pat that in And it doesn't look too light. You probably can't tell on camera. And the lady at Ulta was like, it oxidizes, but I mean, it just, it doesn't really oxidize to me. It just ends up looking too light. And oxidize usually means like it turns orange or darker. I think you can kind of tell a little bit now, but when we put on everything, it's going to balance out. I don't know why I feel like I'm, when I'm doing my foundation it's the only time I can really talk to you guys because nothing's covering my mouth or my eyeballs but um, I'm in such high spirits today I don't know if it's because I don't have to do e-learning I don't know if it's because <laughs> my baby daddy's acting right I just started a new job I'm gonna get a little mini break today for mommy duties and go to the mall run errands I love running errands but I'm in high spirits, okay? It's a good day. It's gonna be a good day. I'm claiming today a good day. I really love this foundation. I feel like it looks, it just looks like skin. So I'm also gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in, what is it, Warm Bisque? Medium Bisque? Warm Honey? Oh, I have two of these concealers. So this one is Warm Honey. The other one is something about a bisque. Like when I use that found that foundation and then another like any of my cream products like I use those and then I use my beauty blender like my my creams just look like my skin it's not too heavy coverage it's like just right everything about it is just right I just dropped my beauty blender in glitter I got most of it off, but if there's glitter on my face, then I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I definitely just dropped it in pink glitter. And as always, I go up too high. I need one of those beauty blenders with um, the sharp edge. 
because I all, almost always take some of my eyeshadow away when I start beating my concealer out. And I finally got a new LA Girl Pro Conceal for my um, contour because while I do love that Rimmel, it just dried way too fast. I feel like LA Girl takes a minute to dry down. So I'm just gonna carve out. And I do a high because I got a fat pregnant lady face. Y'all, I was talking so much mess about my lip and I'm like, I don't remember my lip ever looking this big. Like, hello, I'm pregnant. This pregnancy is really, like, everything is just going over my head. I'm like, why is my lip so big? Why does my nose look like this? Why is this happening like I'm pregnant? Really, with this last baby, I just, it's like I know I'm pregnant, but the symptoms, like, whenever I get symptoms, I'm like, why is this happening? Because I'm pregnant. When you start having a lot of kids, like the pregnancy isn't like the only thing on your mind so it just she just slips right past you and goes right over your head okay now that we look like we're getting plastic surgery i love when you get a new concealer and the brush is just perfect i'm gonna do the sides with my beauty blender first I've been seeing people use use the dual um, tip like brushes, I cannot think of the exact name right now, to blend their um, contour. And I really have to look into that because that, that seems genius. And this side we overdid a little bit, but when I do my um, setting powder, it'll get cleaned up. take uh, a little bit like whatever is excess on the um, on the beauty sponge and do my jawline and I'm taking the um, elf brush that I've been using for nose contour and just brushing it out Yes, I feel like this, I think my nose contour really good today. See that line? Yes. Ooh. That's embarrassing. I forgot I just got so excited. Yes, okay. All this excitement just to um, have my nose covered up by a mask. We're going to take our beauty sponge and go in with that Maybelline Fit Me powder. Press it into the parts where we put that contour. I'm trying not to go too um, too much over the contour because I like how I did it today. I do want to fix this side though because that was a little, little heavy handed we got there. I just do the tip of my chin because I don't want my chin to be too um, defined because I contour right there just kind of bring everything down and I'm not even I'm a not what can I talk I'm not even gonna let that sit long I'm just gonna dust it away I need better makeup organization. I need to go to Home Goods or on Amazon and get those acrylic drawers because the way I got stuff set up right now is not working. 
But I'm taking my um, Kylie Jenner Tawny Mommy Bronzer. And just placing that over the contour areas. Getting rid of those harsh lines. I take the other big fluffy brush just so my my forehead is big enough I don't need a um, line of demarcation telling everyone that so take a little bit of the bronzer and um top of my nose contour I'm going to be using my Lion King highlighter, the Circle of Life highlighter just because this is my favorite everyday highlighter it's very subtle I did put a little bit of that coconut essence um, spray on my brush beforehand so it as you can see it's not going to be as subtle today. For most days I wouldn't put the coconut essence spray on it but since it's Saturday we just want to elevate our everyday makeup. Get that top lip even though we're just gonna cover it with lipstick so I'm gonna do lashes and eyeliner off camera ignore my um I just I'm not finished getting ready but I'm gonna do my lashes and um, eyeliner off camera like I always do so I will be right back it's a little bit of this will be a spice color Whenever I do want to spice up my everyday look, that's what I usually do is put a, um, a little bit of color under my eye. Plus I'm going to have like a mask on so I don't like, you won't be able to see half my face or half what I did to my makeup. So. Why not do a little something fun with the part that you can't see? And then I'm gonna just do a little bit of a brighter inner color. Inner eye color. I just sprayed some of my NYX. Dewy finishing spray. So for lips, I'm going to be mixing my NYX lingerie and satin ribbon and also my Kylie Jenner velvet liquid lipstick in basic. I'm not going to be using a lip liner just because um, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't really care for lip liner when I'm using a semi dark color. I guess I'm using the dark color as a lip liner. I'm just going to overline just a tiny bit because once again I'm going to have on a mask and nobody's going to see it. And then I'm going to put that satin ribbon just in the middle. I'm just gonna go in, if you're a beauty supply girl like me, everybody has this gloss, the Max Gloss. It looks like a matte gloss, but it's a dollar. And um, I did get the coconut oil one. I didn't know they had like different flavors and stuff. So I'm just gonna put the tiniest, tiniest drop on because I kinda like how flat this, um, I kinda like how flat the makeup, the lipstick is, and I'm gonna have one of those. Just, yeah, just for a little sheen. And that is our makeup look. Thank you guys for watching this video. My everyday makeup look with a little extra with the lashes. I just want to ask you guys to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye. Mm -hmm.